Hey guys, and welcome to Jurassic Room. This is the last trailer we gotta check out today. And it is for The Thing Remastered. So this is the game that came out in like the mid-2000s or so for the PS2. I never played the game. I've never seen a walkthrough of it either. But I've heard from everyone that it's a very good game. Man, this game, this gets me thinking, if The Thing gets a remaster, why can't we get a remaster of Peter Jackson's King Kong? Peter Jackson's King Kong is one of the greatest tie-in movie video games up there with Spider-Man 2. That is a fantastic game. Universal, please get on it. Give us a remaster of Peter Jackson's King Kong. Get him on it. That would be... Fantastic. I would love to play an updated version of that game. Fantastic. Nostalgic as crap, and it's really fun and scary. So, The Thing Remastered. So, this, I believe, is supposed to take place after the movie. And that's another fun fact. I've only seen very few parts of the movie. We have to watch the full movie. I actually bought it on DVD. What? The Thing is one of the few movies that I have not seen in full. The Thing. You haven't seen it either. The old one? Yeah. I've seen the old one. You did not. I've seen the old the thing. You said you didn't want to go see it. What are you talking about? A while ago, you said you didn't watch that nasty That's crap. not the first one. Which was the first one? The old one. The old one from John Carpenter? Yeah, whatever. Back in the day. The one with the giant spider dude that morphs, whatever. Animated head that's a It's been right a while, Taylor. You said something that you didn't want to see or whatever a long time ago. Then there was the I have I actually have not seen the the prequel sequel the thing from 2011. Never really watched it. Although I know that the uh, studio butchered that movie, took away all the practical effects, made them use CGI and whatnot. I also I love the original the the true original because it's based on a book. Um, I forget what it's. I forget what the book is called, but there was the original film adaption, which was called "The Thing from Another World," and that starred James Arness, Matt Dillon himself, as the creature, which was more plant-based. And I love that movie; it's a great movie. And then, of course, there was the remake from John Carpenter, that is just iconic. Uh, it was also one of the first. Um, Appearances from um, a young Keith David, who vo who does the voice of Goliath and Gargoyles. Uh, who else was in there? Kurt Russell, of course. And I'm trying to think who else was in the thing. And then there's the game, and there's actually there's supposedly they're working on a reboot or a sequel, possibly, but it's supposed to incorporate the lost pages. I think from a sequel or a short story or something. I I gotta re. Um, I gotta re um, look at that whole situation. I'd love to make a video about it. There's a lot of videos I want to make. I just don't have the time to work on them. The my biggest project right now that I want to do before I play video games or anything, well, other than the BFP video, the Bass Fishing Productions video, which I need to work on. I really want to finish this week. Um, is the Bigfoot horror movie reviews because I've been promising those for three years. Almost had them out last year. Unfortunately, didn't plan, didn't pan out. Really want to have them out this year for Halloween. So let's go ahead and check this out. This is the thing remastered. Now I have seen some gameplay of the original, so let's see how it is. You ready? It's the last one. Yeah. And Boing! This is supposed to take place after the 80s movie. Who knows, make it. At least there'll be some kind of record. Storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. They think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. One of those found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. Oh. Anyways. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. Your phone. This last one. Ooh. Oh, that's gross. Hell? Is 
So I'll have to like research the story and everything of the game. Ooh! Oh, that's disturbing. Hey, hey! Hey! Remastered. I mean, that little bit right there got me hyped. I want to, um... No, go back. Dang it. It's also a quiet place thing. Look, you missed the... I was... I'm watching the camera. I know when you're looking at your phone. Right here, I think. Right here, you see the creatures. Not just that one. Yeah. That's some nasty shit, isn't it? I'm excited. It's cool that all the retro... Well, this is a remaster. You're welcome. Thank you. It's cool that all the like uh, classic monsters are getting... Or slashers and all that. Well, you had the Friday the 13th game from a few years ago. That was a big hit. Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of came and hey, went. Uh, I don't want to know. And I, I see I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Um, recently, the Killer Clowns from Outer Space game came out. Videos. Focus on videos. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And everyone seems to be really liking that. I like to play it some, uh, at some point. Predator Hunting Grounds. It kind of came and went as well. I enjoy Predator Hunting Grounds. I'd love to play it again at some point. Uh, the Thing Remastered. There's some other ones that have kind of made a bit of a comeback, I'm sure. Those are the ones that are coming to mind. Elphonic is mostly in charge of all that, though. They seem to be getting all the licenses. That'd be scary they did a... I, it'll, it'll probably eventually happen. Uh, it'd be funny if Elphonic got the license to Freddy Krueger and did a Freddy Krueger like, multiplayer survival game. I mean, all, all of the... Like horror characters. Freddy Krueger makes the most sense for like a multiplayer horror game where all the characters are like in the dream realm, you gotta wake up or whatever. That would make the most sense. Get Robert England back to voice him. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Get Robert England back to voice Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Yes. I saw him numerous times. Here I come. Oh, you can tell that story real quick. I know where he lives. <laughs> we used to go right past his house, and he would really. You could go out and just stop your truck, and he would sit there and come right up and talk to you like you were best friends. He was really. He's an amazing person. Robert England. Yeah, he's very nice. Um. He lives in Central Florida, or he lived in Central Florida, and my cousins and I would go past the house, and he'd stop them and talk to them. He used to be roommates with Mark Hamill. Really? Mm-hmm. They were like... Uh, they he loved his outside plants and stuff, too. Loved his yard. We had to... It'd be cool to find a, hor a horror con where he would go to and ask him about that before he, he dies. What what I did was said like talk yeah like talk to him and all that and see if he remembered all that he had like a desert like front yard like um was it succulents more succulents yeah he had peat gravel in some areas I mean I'm going back to when I was I'm trying to remember all this and I was I mean, like nineties late eighties nineties early early nineties. <laughs> Shut up. Mm, what? Hey, at least I got to see him and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I have to check that. I know. I know he goes. To, he mostly goes to like horror cons up north and stuff like that. But that was it. That was the last one to check out. I'm excited for it. It looks like something I would play. Oh, I get Liz to play it because she has that. She has arachnophobia. Ooh, what are they did an arachnophobia game. I mean, technically, it's a lot like any other, like, alien shooter or whatnot, but, like, arachnophobia. 
like a ton of little spiders and all that invading a farmhouse or something. What? Oh. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I wanted to test it out. Well, it didn't work. Because I had the straw in it. But, uh, oh, what was I thinking? Oh, because Liz, my fiance, she fears spiders. Yes. I don't <laughs> fear anything. I'm a badass. Well, that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and check out our previous reactions, too. So, we got The Thing Remastered, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, Star Wars Outlaws, The Wild Robot, Nosferatu, The Penguin, and the 10 DLC launch trailers for Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, thanks for watching. Let's hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. And everyone, I gotta clean this floor. Have a happy Jurassic June. Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wow.